welcome back. So the next thing that we want to do is we actually want to upload uh, one of our flat files up into one of the buckets. So um, I, as you saw, I do have like a couple of flat files that I retrieved from online. Um, and I'll put these somewhere so that they're available to you and I'll link them in a couple of places so you can grab them or if not, feel free to grab any file that you have that you want to upload. You make it a small file so it can process quickly and then and not have it be too dependent on your internet connection. But um, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So um, I'm going to create a new file, a new Python file. And for this one, I'm just going to call it, I'm going to number it 02 upload um, s3.py. Okay, so for this, I'm going to import like two, uh, two different libraries, right? One is going to be OS, and then of course the next one, uh, Boto3 or Boto3. So let's go ahead and instantiate the client one more time and uh, type client equals bottle three dot client s lowercase s three. Okay, now I want to set some variables, and this is basically going to be like my uh, path variables and and like target bucket name and stuff like that. So the uh, the bucket that I want to target is actually this S3 OSK bucket 3000. You may have a different name, so feel free to name it whatever you want. But you can see it's empty, and this is where I want to down upload a file to, excuse me. So uh, I'm going to say bucket equals S3 OSK bucket 3000. And uh, I'm going to set my current path to my current working directory. So I'm going to say current path equals OS get current working directory. Um, my file, I'm going to I'm going to upload this profiles.07 file. So file is equal to profile. Oops, underscore seven dot csv. And then the path is actually going to be a combination of a couple things. It's going to be my current uh, directory, right? Um, plus the data folder, right? Because my current directory is S3, and then the data folder is a subdirectory, and then I'm targeting this file. So I'm going to say file name, which gives me like the full qualified path, is equal to os.path.join current path data folder and file for the file name. So like now I have a fully qualified path. Okay. Now uh, let's go ahead and open the file. So let's say data equals open file name. And I like to use RB for uh, read binary. That way it handles you know, all types of files and you get like funky errors. I think this is probably the most safest or most efficient anyway. And then we're gonna load the data into S3. Uh, in order to do that, we'll just type client.upload file and then we have to specify the file the full the fully qualified path which file we're uploading right that's why we're using file name uh, then the bucket that we're going to target which is this specific bucket uh, or this one here anyway this empty bucket and then uh, and then give the um, you know give give the name of uh, give the file a name once it reaches a bucket and so since we saved the file name before we specified it before on its own, uh, we can simply just type file. If I, I, or I can type a string, you know, I can say some random file.csv and, and then that's how it would be named it there. But since I already saved it, I mean, since I, yeah, since I already saved the file name as a variable, I'll just type file. And we'll save that. Now, um, one thing that I want you to notice if you are in a UI, you can always use a terminal down here and execute it, especially if you set up your environment. Um, here, but if, if you didn't, then just we'll just stick to the terminal. But it's, uh, so let me go to the terminal here, and uh, yeah, for some reason I keep on saving these files and downloads. So let me just move that one more time to S3. Okay, there we go. So I'll say Python 02, upload S3, hit enter. Here we go, no such file users. Hmm. Let's find out what's going on here. 
So we have profiles. Oh, it should be profiles.07. My bad. That's what the name of the file. Let's try that one more time. And there we go, no errors. That means it uploaded, or should have anyway. And uh, we'll refresh this with this little button. And now we see that we have profiles in here. Profiles underscore 007.csv. Cool. All right. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.